Hey, what's going on guys? Tyler here, the barrel, the smoker, the blast furnace, the cartography table, the fletching table, the smithing table, not only that, but the grindstone, the lectern, the stone cutter, and of course, the bell, all part of the latest and greatest in Minecraft 1.14 snapshots. Happy Halloween, by the way. Today is a very special snapshot indeed with over 10 new types of blocks added that are going to be changing crafting in Minecraft forever. And not only that, but special changes to one of your favorite little mods. The kitty cat, yeah! It's gonna be bringing you very special gifts every morning you play. So, join us as we dive into all the latest and greatest details from the most newest in Village and Village updates. No webcam for the rest of today's video. Like I said, I want to focus strictly on the updates themselves. But, if you enjoyed today's video, you can let me know by dropping a like on the video, subscribing so you can catch every single update video right as they come out. And with that, we leave you. Enjoy today's video. All right, my friends, let's jump into this snapshot right away. First of all, this world that was put together for us today is courtesy of Stark teammate Yasu. You are the man, my dude. His link's gonna be in the description of today's video if you wanna find out more about my dear, dear friend. Now, check this out. I'm still loving the new textures, by the way. Yes, yes, indeed. There have been slight changes to textures from this snapshot compared to the last one. Notably with the deserts, they're a little more yellow than they were in the previous snapshots. They were a little more orange in the last one. This is a little bit closer to what the normal deserts look like, you know, in the current 1.13 and older versions of Minecraft. Even cactus got a little change. And if you look at sandstone, similar story. More of a yellowish color, although very, very noisy on the top. Hey, could you be a little bit quiet, please? A lot of pixels going on here. But anyways, back to this sign. I'm sure you noticed <laughs> it's got a different colored text on it compared to our previous signs. As you know, in the latest snapshots, text was changed from being black on the signs to being white on the signs. Well, in today's snapshot, 18W44A, you can now dye the color of the text on each sign. <laughs> you got a little winky there. That's because I like you. It, well, not that much. Anyways, how does it work, huh? Well, you can change it with dyes. Who'd have thought, right? So we're going to grab a whole bunch of these. Yes, yes, yes. Good stuff. Look at this. All I got to do is right click. It's done deal. Boom. Boom. Nice. 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 Look at this. I love it. Ooh, the yellow looks really nice. Now, I used to love Minecraft, but now Minecraft is life. Minecraft is pink, Minecraft is white, Minecraft is gray, Minecraft is blue. I love the fact that we can customize what these signs look like. Like, it, it makes it so much easier to change these for maps and various other things you can do in Minecraft. Imagine color coding all of your different areas with signs. This is an awesome change. You can even bring it back to the original looking black color text signs. As you can see, it's done right here. Yeah, good stuff, yes. Love it. But listen, I know why you guys are here, okay? Relax, they're all right here. 10 brand new blocks for your Minecraft world. The barrel, the grindstone, the lectern, the blast furnace, stone cutter, smoker, cartography table, smithing table, fletching table, and of course, the bell, baby, that's right. <laughs> I feel like they added that because of me. <laughs> Probably not, but don't worry about it all the same. These are all amazing new blocks. They're gonna be able to add to your Minecraft experience very, very soon. And we're gonna go over them in detail in a hot second, but I just wanna place them all right here so that we can all be on the same page about how sweet they look. Look at all of these. These are so good. Like, did, did, did Mojang like accidentally install a mod and put it in the latest snapshot? Cause that's, a, that's honestly like a little bit about what it feels like. Here's the lectern that we've seen a lot about recently. Totally unannounced compared to all these other new blocks. Let's go ahead and dive in. I do want to note though that none of them are currently functioning. For now, they are creative blocks. That's all you can really use them for. I'm sure in the future snapshots, they're going to have their meaning unfolded in front of us. I that one's painful looking. So like I said, make sure you subscribe and oh, oh you know. Hit that bell. I was trying to make it look like, anyways. Hit the bell to get notified of every single snapshot video that comes out right as it comes out. <laughs> Alright, first up, barrels. Look at this. Beautiful barrels. It looks like they are in fact directional, so depending on where you're standing, they will change the way they are placed. Look at these. Lovely. Now, it does look like you'll be able to maybe eventually open them because you can see like a little top here, a little handle. Mmm, interesting stuff indeed. Now, we are gonna go ahead and take this video today and kind of speculate on where we think all these blocks are gonna be, as well as what they do. Now, these are very likely to spawn in in shipwrecks and again, used to store items. I mean, it makes perfect sense. There's always barrels atop all the different various ships. That's how they had to keep their beef jerky and their bread and all that stuff to keep them from uh, getting scurvy. No clue yet if we're gonna be able to customize the type of wood used for each of the barrels. 
unsure. For now though, we only have the singular barrel option. This next one's a throwback to all of you Bedrock Pocket Edition players. The OG Stonecutter is back with a fresh new lick of paint. Yeah, baby, and it really does look like you can cut stone with it this time around. But so what is it going to be used for exactly? It's hard to say. My guess is it's going to be very similar to the loom block that was recently introduced in some of the latest snapshots. If we right click this, you'll see it's got its very own interface. And so long as you have all of the necessary things to create said lovely little dies, you can actually make banners with relative ease. You no longer have to worry about all the different crafting recipes that once came with needing to make these banners. So my guess is that a lot of these blocks that are coming out, including the stone cutter here, are eventually going to have right-click abilities that let you open up interfaces similar to this and make blocks in a much easier fashion. So what I'm seeing is potentially a change to how we use stone blocks and how we make stone bricks or decorative stone bricks or mossy stone bricks. This might be a new interface system that you right-click on. Again, similar to this, you put your stone block in here, we'll call it. You put your whatever in here, that's enough out of you, Betsy, I've heard ya. And I think they're doing this to make it easier for players to not need to memorize every single recipe under the sun. Yeah, 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 I get it. You've got your lovely, oh, it's, I gotta go into survival mode. You've got this thing, the book, that tells you how to make everything right. But honestly, the more things like this, the better, because this is just way easier to do things with as opposed to having to remember all the crafting recipes. Plus, this thing looks pretty sweet. You might even be able to use it as traps. I mean, look at this thing, it's got a giant saw on the top. New ways to protect your house alert. Yeah, I'm all about it, baby. Moving on. We've got more information about the stone cutter. It was originally used to craft stone related stuff, except itself. It was added because crafting tables in PE were limited back in the day. We'll probably move all stone recipes from the crafting table over to the stone cutter. Now we get to the lectern. Yes, this was actually shown off in one of my other videos about, you know, Twitter tweets and dinner bone going in on the various different changes that are coming in the latest update. But a uh, quick throwback to the stone cutter once again. Did you guys know I have a Pocket Edition channel, Minecraft Bedrock Edition content exclusively? You should check the link in the description. It's there. So, hey, uh. But anyways, yes, the lecterns. If you didn't see that other video I was talking about, basically the lecterns are going to be able to hold different books in your Minecraft world and display them as well. Again, currently that functionality is not available in today's snapshot. Right now they're just decorative blocks, so this is as close as we're going to be able to get. Enchanted book, regular old book, other regular old book. Uh, books, yeah. The idea is that you'll be able to put a book on top of the lectern so that everyone can read the book together, but, you know, it does look great as a podium. Make some announcements, Mr. Creeper. Just don't blow up on us. That would not be good. And you can get even a little more creative with it, as Stark has done here, and make for some very interesting staircases indeed. Not my first pick if I were building a house, but some of you guys are way more creative than I am, and we all know Stark is as well. I just make a whole bunch of noise. Ah! Moving on, we've got what's probably gonna end up being my favorite new block, the bell. That's right, for whom the bell tolls. Yes. Ooh, it makes a fun little sound too. So what is this gonna be used for? Very curious. I bet ya it has something to do with the villagers. Maybe when a raid is occurring, the bell gets rung. Like if I go into survival mode, what happens if I right click this? Okay, just places another bell down. Well, let's pretend when I right click, uh, you see, there, there we go, perfect. Are you guys annoyed yet? Oh, a little bit? Oh, too bad. But yeah, my guess is that when a raid occurs with the pillagers and the new beast mobs, the villagers in the village that's being raided, they'll probably ring the bell to let you guys know that a raid is occurring. You hear the bell from afar, you better get running, otherwise your village, well, let's just say you might not have a village anymore. Well, at least Betsy came running when I ring the bell. <laughs> I didn't even want you, yeah, keep walking. If she's lucky, I'll spare from the smoker block, which is also a real thing. Now, the bell can only be placed on top of other blocks. If we were to try and place it on the side here, well, as you can hear, it doesn't work. Place it on the bottom, though, no problem. Will it work on top of a half block? Oh, uh, kind of. Wow, uh, for whom the bell to- I think I already used that joke. Anyways, it's not even a joke. I'm sorry, guys, I'm just not funny. The grindstone! Hey, hey, check this thing out, huh? So what is this going to be used for? Maybe grinding things. Yeah, I would, I would say so. It looks like it's directional because look, we've got the grindstone right here on this side and the little wooden parts are aiming to the left. And then on these ones, they're aiming. Now, what happens if I were to stand on top? Mm, uh, it doesn't look like it did it there. Interesting. I have no idea. I mean, maybe this is how we now sharpen 
objects. Maybe the grindstone is used to add uh, sharpness to swords. Like, I don't know. Like, do they want to do different stuff with enchantments on here? Like, I honestly, like, have no clue what most of these blocks are going to do. But I want to hear from you guys. So in the comments section, like, I want to hear what your predictions are. Like, what are these blocks going to be used for? Ten new blocks. And with the loom, technically eleven. Like, so many new blocks are being added in this update. I don't even know what to make of it. Oh, thanks, Stark. I, uh, I don't know what to say. Are you just the... Are you just a floating robot with the world's tiniest little legs? Oh boy, you need some help. <laughs> Moving on, the first of many new tables, we'll call it. Tables. Right, right, right. It's the smithing table. Look at this. Very similar in look to our crafting table. And based on the top of it, probably going to be another 3x3 three three crafting grid system. Again, none of these currently work, so it's all speculation. We have no idea what it does. But if you look on the sides of these blocks, we've got what looks like a hammer here. That's fine. We've got, um, are these, are these bolts for the crossbow, maybe? Another hammer, more bolts. Okay, so there's, there's only two unique sides, and they just duplicate on the other sides around there. Very interesting. Now, I am starting to notice that since this is the village and pillage update, a lot of these blocks have everything to do with the new villager professions, as well as the pre-existing villager professions. Like, there is, in fact, a smithy, an armor smith. Maybe these are going to be found in the new villages. I mean, that would make a lot of sense. I have no idea how you might craft all of these things, or even if you can at all. Time will tell for now, the smoker. Where's Betsy? If you're not careful, I'm going to use this on you. The smoker. Yeah. Good stuff. Now, what's it going to be used for? Probably smoking meats, Zuckerberg status. Anyone seen that video with him smoking meats in his backyard? Anyways, look at this. It kind of looks like, uh, what, you might put meat on the top there. It almost looks like a microwave on the side here. You can like see what's inside it. You got some buttons to push down here. On this side, it just looks like it's decoration, more decoration, more decoration. So only one side is different like this. Maybe this is the front of the smoker. Uh, hard to say. And if we place other, oh, oops, sorry about that cactus. We look on the bottom here. It's got just another normal looking texture. Interesting. Again, I can't really tell what it's going to be used for, but maybe smoking? Yeah, it would make sense. Time will tell for now. The fletching table, another one of our special tip. Get out of cactus, don't need you. A fletching table, another one of our special tables indeed. Now this looks like it has something to do with bows and arrows. You've even got a little target on the side of it. It's a great, great store, by the way. Arrow, bow, down arrow, target, up arrow, bow, down arrow. And then again, it continues to repeat. Now these look like they might be feathers on the top of this. I'm wondering if you're gonna be able to use this to make new potion tipped arrows, new arrow types completely, spectral arrows. It seems as though they're trying to make differences in how blocks are crafted. You don't need the regular crafting table for every single block now. Maybe there are very specific items that you need all these new block types for. Again, this might just be decoration for the villages. We really don't know what's coming. Because if they really did start separating items for like all these different block types, if anything, that's almost a little more confusing than just keeping it all in one. The loom, it makes perfect sense, right? Like no one ever made banners before. If you made banners, like you were a rare exception. Sorry. Now I might actually make banners because of the loom feature. So if, 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 if something's going to change here, it needs to make sense and it needs to not take away from the crafting table. Sorry, I need, to, I need to get my loom back. <laughs> yeah, okay, good. Another table, the cartography table. This one is interesting indeed. Do you have an idea of what this one might be used for? So currently on the sides, we've got what looks like a drawer, maybe a, a compass or, a, or, yeah, that looks like a compass there. Maybe, mm, I don't know what the tools are called. Anyways, it brings me back to my clue scroll days. Anybody? And on the top here, you can see what looks like a little map with an X marks the spot. So my guess is that it has something to do with resizing currently existing maps. We have a map in our hand right now. If we right click, it begins to draw out this map area. Now, one thing you can do with maps, if you didn't realize, is you can place it inside of a crafting table, surround it with paper, and you'll get an even larger scale version of the map you were once in. So maybe these new tables are an even easier way to zoom in and zoom out of those maps. And looking at these new blocks here, as you can see, there is no 3x3 three three on the top there, so it might have another interface similar to the loom, where there also wasn't a crafting table on top. But again, this one has it, and then the smithing one has it as well. Uh, very curious. 
I'm just gonna keep the bell in my offhand for whenever I <laughs> Now, there are plenty of other changes that were added to the snapshot, but for now, we reach our final new block, the Blast Furnace. Bum bum bum, Blast Furnace. Yeah, look at this thing. It looks almost evil. Looks like a, <laughs> it looks like a face. It's got a face on it. Well, you're ugly. I mean, honestly, look at that face. It's just hideous. You got two big old eyes right here and what looks like a nasty grill teeth. I don't know. What does the Blast Furnace do exactly? Well, maybe it's a faster way to smelt or smith up ingots, food type. Well, it's interesting. I bet you the smoker is going to be for meats. Right, right, right. And then the Blast Furnace is going to be specifically for ores or stone or other things that you're able to cook. None of these currently even have recipes, so we don't know what goes into making any of them. All I can say, though, is I am pumped to start seeing these appear in game. This literally feels like a mod. Like, this doesn't feel like Minecraft, which is which is fine. Like, it'll let you feel like Minecraft, but right now, like, <laughs> I'm on cloud nine. Or cloud ten, because there's ten new blocks in the snapshot. Whatever. Stark's take. These might spawn in new villages. The function of the blocks match the profession of the villagers. Yes, as I said, smithy, cartographer, you know, crafter, fletcher, farmer, all those guys. They all have their own little section and all the blocks make sense but for now we move on to greener pastures literally there's like a bunch of grass over here and more updates cats love them what's changed about them huh cats are now their own entity along with ocelots as you can see here we have an ocelot spawn egg oh <laughs> that's an ocelot ocelot yeah you get it uh, wait, why? It was. I thought it was funny. Don't run. Why are you running? Well, you don't like my humor. Whatever. Anyways, this is the new cat spawn egg, and they all come with their very own different cat variants. There's gonna be a grand total of nine cat variants, or. As far as I know, there's eight right now, and the ninth one's gonna be a community skin where someone can submit their actual cat picture and then make it into a Minecraft skin. There's either eight plus the the community one, or there's nine, and the tenth is a community one. Now please, kitty, I have I have fish. Why you look away? You were just walking towards me. Fine, I'll feed this one. My friend, no, oh, best friends forever. Advancement made. Okay, you stick with me. Cats are good, by the way, if you didn't realize, keeping creepers away. They don't, well, creepers don't like cats. And why, and I don't like creepers. And so cats probably don't like me. I think that's fair to say. Cats don't really like anybody. Cats are now their own entity along with ocelots. Cats spawn in villages and the black cat spawns in witches' huts. That is an empty chest. Now ocelots can be fed, so next time you get close to them, they won't run away. They'll trust you. Well, the sign is a liar. Come on. I got fish. I want to feed you. Let me feed you. Come on. Come on. Let me. I'm going to. Feed him whether he wants to be fed or not. Eat up! Eat up! Oh wait, that's the wrong- Ooh, Please take the salmon! What do you want from me? I'm trying to- mm. This is not what the snapshot video is supposed to be about! Come on, come on, come on. Love me, please, just love me. Yes, he loves me. Do you love me? I can't make Ocelot sit. Well, that's unfortunate, but at least now he's tamed and I'm pretty sure he's a fan of mine. Maybe? You just gonna stay over there? Okay, you just you, you just do your, you just do your thing. Anyways, feed them and they'll trust you. Whoa, 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 Stark! What are you trying to get me to do? Kill ocelots? Well, all right, Mr. Kitty, you can stay with me. That's what happens when you don't follow me. You gotta bite the dust. You caused this. Cats love sitting on top of chests, and when they are sat on top of a chest, you cannot open the chest. So if you could just. Get out of the way. That would be very nice. In fact, look, he jumped back on. Stop. Bad. You see, you can stand on it and the chest still opens, but the moment the cat tries to, it's bad. But after you tame a cat, you can change the color of their collar. <laughs> they say that five times fast by applying a dye. So right now you've got a red collar, and now you got a brown one, and now you got a white one, and now you got a purple one, and now you got a red one, and a green one, and a pink one, and etc. 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 Very similar to the sign. Not only that, but cats will now sleep with you and they will give you gifts when you wake up. Now gifts can be good or they can be a little bit bad. So why don't we go ahead and set the time to night time. Yes, it's night time indeed. Come on to bed, kitty. It's time. Look, he came while he sleep on me. He did it. Oh my gosh, adorable. Now where's my stuff? I want something good. Did you... Give me anything. Don't have more than enough kitty cats now. Maybe something special will finally happen. Get off of my bed. Get off. <sighs> Just give me something, please. Look, they all came to me. Are they all going to go to sleep? Are they all going to go to sleep? Can you guys go to sleep? Look at this. Okay. So something's going wrong here. Oh wow, it did bring me something. It brought me a raw chicken. Wow, okay, so it seems like it's just random what type of item you'll get. But every once in a while, you'll have a cat that actually falls asleep on you. See, look, 
Got me. What, what you gonna bring me this time, baby? Didn't. Okay, maybe if we clear the inventory, probably have a better idea of the items we're getting. Good night, little kitties. Looks like only one can sleep with you at any given time, so it's very interesting. And it doesn't look like we always get an item, so it might be a little bit random as to when we actually get something. I guess we'll find out through trial and error. Until really, you're not gonna give me any more raw chicken? I was all about the raw chicken. Wait, did you drop the? Ooh. Did you drop rotten flesh for me? Is that what that just was? Look, they're like, I want to sleep with him. I'm a little kitty cat. Come on, give me something special. Ooh, it got me another little something something, huh? A rabbit's foot. Disgusting. <laughs> okay. Oh, look, and one of them brought me string. Oh, it's all coming together. So it looks like the item itself kind of appears nearby wherever your bed is. It's not guaranteed to be like right next to you when that happens. This is very interesting. We got a rabbit hide from that. Wow, y'all been getting busy. All right, so after doing it enough times, it looks like this is the major spread of the items you're gonna get. Nothing game-breaking, nothing too, you know, special, really. It's just a bunch of stuff that cats would probably, like, attack in real life as well. But cats do have another special feature that was recently added. Phantoms are terribly scared of cats. So why don't we just time set night real quick, don't mind if I... And look, they start to hiss. Listen, listen, listen. You see, you, you guys were... There it is. There it is. Look. There it is. Now the phantoms, they won't try and get me because there's a bunch of kitty cats nearby. I'm spawning a whole bunch. Of kitty cats. Suck. I hate you. Listen to it. Wow. That's a whole bunch of hissing. Come on down, baby. You want to try me? We'll play this game. Uh -uh. The phantoms stay completely clear of even trying to go for me. All you need is a little kitty cats. I. Okay, well, maybe that one. <laughs> You're not afraid. <laughs> and finally, because today is Halloween, a temporary feature is that zombies will sometimes spawn wearing a pumpkin. So we go ahead and go into game mode creative. That is not how you spell creative. We'll go ahead and grab ourselves a zombie egg. And look what happens. Every once in a while, you get a pumpkin that appears on top of them. Adorable. It, well, kind of. But that's going to do it for today's snapshot video, my friends. So many things were just added to this update. Ten brand new blocks. Changes to kitty cats, changes to dyes and signs, and a whole lot more. I want to hear from you guys, though. Like I said, what do you think all of these new blocks are going to be used for? Are they going to be cosmetic? Are they going to have actual purpose? Are you going to be able to do new recipes on them? Are you going to be able to do old recipes on them? Are they moving away from the crafting table? I want to know, so let me know in the comment section below. And hey, thanks for leaving a like on today's video if you enjoyed it. Of course, subscribe, and like I said, sorry, you got to hit that bell to get notified of every single snapshot video right as they come out, my friends. Big special thank you so much to Stark Team A for helping us put this world together. His link in the description below as well. Have a great day, my friends, and we'll see you very soon for the next snapshot review.